that are two main types of paste recommended for use in the salad shapes molds. Sugar paste is the paste used to cover the cake. Flour paste is stronger in consistency and is generally used for making flours since it dries harder. By mixing different proportions of these pastes together, you can achieve a soft, flexible paste which is an ideal medium for many of our molds. There is a wide range of commercially produced pastes available. Recipes for making your own paste can also be used. The proportions suggested may need to be varied depending on the characteristics of the brands of paste that you're using. Press the mould face down on a piece of non-slip material so the cavity is uppermost. Do not put any vegetable fat or corn flour into the mould since this would prevent the paste from moulding correctly. But rub a small amount of vegetable fat on both four fingers. Take a sausage of paste and place it across the cavity. Press and stretch the paste so that it fills all the channels in the mould. Use just enough to fill the cavity. If the excess is too great, remove the paste and start again using a smaller piece. Smooth the surface before removing the excess with a scraper. Hold the scraper in your left hand and stretch out your right forefinger and thumb. Rest the straight edge of the scraper on your bent middle finger. Place your thumb on top of the scraper towards the back, your forefinger at the front corner so that the scraper is well supported. Insert the fine edge of the scraper into the paste, then reduce the angle so it is held as flat as possible when removing the excess paste. Rub a little vegetable fat onto the tips of your index fingers. Pressure needs to be applied to the paste with your finger in order to stop the paste from being pushed out of the mould. Notice how the colour of your finger then changes as you increase the pressure. Place your finger across the centre of the paste and press firmly. Insert the scraper, reduce the angle and then slide the scraper towards your finger. Move your finger backwards stage by stage as required to enable you to work towards the outside of the cavity. Smooth the thin surface with your finger. Turn the mould around at this stage to allow you to trim away the excess from the other side of the design. Press and slide. Press and slide the scraper. Pressure must be applied to the paste at all times during the removal of the excess. Smooth the surface with your finger. Release the paste from the top and support with the tip of the scriber. Grip the paste between thumb and forefinger and ease towards you, using a peeling action similar to that used when removing a first aid cluster. Use a pre-greased finger to rub across the surface of the trim paste to smooth it. For moulds with fragile designs, you will need to lift each tip using the tool with a sharp point to make sure that the paste does not stick in the mould. Be careful not to lift or pull before all parts are released, since this can easily cause distortion. When moulding the scrolls, loosen any long narrow strands of paste before removing. Lift at the least fragile point of your design and adjust the shape of the piece before drying or attaching to the cake surface. Lifting and pulling before correctly releasing the paste from the cavity can cause stretching and breakage. Releasing the paste then pulling in an upward position will distort the shape of the moulded piece. You should lift the paste at the edge before using both hands to gently peel it from the cavity. Keep the paste low over the mould, easing smoothly and gently back towards you to achieve the best results. As you trim away the excess, if the paste drags and creates a hole in the moulding, do not panic and remove the broken piece. Press the paste back down into the mould. Apply a small amount of extra paste to fill the gap. Blend and smooth the paste to achieve a bond. Lightly grease your fingers where necessary. Press firmly and use the scraper to remove any excess. Repeat if necessary.
then wrap to smooth and leaving the surface. As you can see, now the lattice length has no breaks, it has been successfully repaired.